Have you ever been told that sardines are one of the ultimate superfoods for muscle and longevity? They are packed with omega-3 fatty acids, protein, and micronutrients. But what if I told you that there is another food often overlooked that may be even more powerful when it comes to fighting sarcopenia, the age-related loss of muscle that robs people of strength, independence, and vitality? Here is the reality. By the time most people reach their 60s, they have already lost close to 30% of their muscle mass. Sarcopenia is not just about getting weaker. It is about metabolic decline. Muscle is your body's most important metabolic organ. It stores glucose, it burns fat, it regulates hormones, and it protects your bones and joints. When you lose muscle, you do not just lose strength. You lose your ability to control blood sugar, you lower your metabolic rate, and you accelerate aging from the inside out. Now here is what is fascinating. The root cause of sarcopenia is not simply aging itself. It is a combination of anabolic resistance, which means your muscles stop responding as strongly to protein and exercise, hormonal shifts like falling testosterone and growth hormone, and chronic inflammation driven by diet and lifestyle. In other words, it is not inevitable. It is a process we can slow down, stop, and even reverse if we know which levers to pull. And this is where nutrition comes in. While sardines are excellent, they are not the only game in town. In fact, there is another food easy to find, widely available, and supported by emerging research that builds muscle, restores metabolic balance, and helps you kill sarcopenia naturally. I am going to reveal that food, and more importantly, the exact physiological reasons why it works. But before we dive in, let me frame what you are going to learn in this talk. We will unpack the science of how muscle actually grows, how insulin and amino acids interact like keys in a lock to turn on muscle building, why certain proteins outperform others, and how timing your intake can change everything. You will also learn about hidden disruptors from poor sleep to liver dysfunction that quietly erode your muscle even if you think you are eating well. By the end of this session, you will have a clear evidence-based protocol you can apply immediately. Whether you are in your 40s and trying to stay lean, in your 60s and noticing strength slipping away, or in your 70s determined to stay independent, the strategies I am about to share can shift your trajectory. So. Forget the myth that muscle loss is an unavoidable part of aging. Forget the idea that only sardines or exotic supplements can save you. Today, we are going to explore the food that science shows is a muscle building powerhouse and how to integrate it into your daily life to protect your energy, metabolism, and longevity. Here is what most people do not realize. Your muscles are not just there to help you lift weights, climb stairs, or carry groceries. They are the single most powerful metabolic organ in your body. In fact, muscle makes up nearly 40% of your body weight, and it is constantly working behind the scenes to regulate hormones, blood sugar, and energy balance. When we think of metabolism, many people immediately picture the thyroid gland, but gram for gram, your skeletal muscle is far more important for keeping your metabolism youthful and efficient. Here is what is really going on inside your body. Every time you eat carbohydrates, your body breaks them down into glucose. That glucose has to go somewhere. If it stays in the bloodstream, it spikes blood sugar and triggers insulin. Your muscles are like a sponge that soaks up that glucose and stores it as glycogen. The bigger and healthier your sponge, the better you can handle a bowl of rice, a piece of bread, or even fruit without causing metabolic chaos. But the smaller and weaker your sponge, meaning the less muscle you have, the more likely that sugar gets stored as fat or damages your blood vessels. Let me explain this with a simple analogy. Imagine your muscle is a large storage warehouse. The larger the warehouse, the easier it is to store incoming deliveries. But if your warehouse shrinks, you cannot store much at all. Packages pile up outside, creating a mess in the street. That mess is what happens in your bloodstream when muscle mass declines. Sugar builds up, insulin levels stay high, and fat begins to accumulate in the liver and around the belly. This is one of the hidden root causes of prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. 
And here is where sarcopenia becomes so dangerous. Starting in your 40s, you can lose up to 1% of muscle mass per year if you are not actively protecting it. By your 70s, that can mean a loss of 20 to 30% of your lean tissue. The consequence is not just weakness, it is slower fat burning, higher risk of obesity, and accelerated cellular aging. Research shows that individuals with higher muscle mass have lower all-cause mortality, live longer, and maintain sharper cognitive function well into older age. The good news is this, you are not powerless. Studies from institutions like the National Institute on Aging show that even people in their 70s and 80s can build new muscle if they provide the right stimulus. That stimulus comes in two forms, resistance exercise and targeted nutrition. Resistance training, even simple body weight exercises like squats, push-ups, and step-ups signals your muscles to adapt, but without the right nutrients, that signal is like flipping a switch when the power is out. You need both the signal and the building blocks to rebuild muscle effectively. This is why the food we are going to reveal shortly matters so much. Unlike generic protein sources, it contains a very specific profile of amino acids that directly trigger the molecular switch inside your muscle known as M2OR, which stands for mechanistic target of rapamycin. Think of M2OR as the ignition key for muscle protein synthesis. Without turning this key, your muscle cells simply will not grow, no matter how much general protein you eat. If this is helpful so far, consider subscribing. I post content like this every day designed to help you protect your metabolism, preserve energy, and extend your health span naturally. So remember this takeaway. Muscle is not optional tissue. It is your metabolic currency. The more of it you preserve, the more resilient, energetic, and youthful you stay. Lose it and your entire metabolic economy begins to collapse. In the next section, I will break down how sarcopenia actually develops, why your body becomes resistant to protein as you age, and what you can do to overcome it. When people hear the word sarcopenia, they often think it is just about aging, that muscle loss is inevitable once you hit your 60s or 70s. But that is only part of the story. Sarcopenia is not simply a calendar effect, it is a physiological process driven by very specific changes inside your body. And understanding these changes is the first step to reversing them. Here is what is really going on inside your body. When you are young, your muscles are highly sensitive to protein and exercise. A moderate dose of protein, say a piece of chicken or fish, combined with activity, easily flips on the switch for muscle protein synthesis. That is why in your 20s and 30s, it feels almost effortless to recover from a workout or gain strength. But as you move into your 40s, 50s, and beyond, that sensitivity begins to decline. This is called anabolic resistance. Anabolic resistance means your muscle cells do not respond as strongly to the same nutritional and exercise signals they once did. You might eat a protein-rich meal, but instead of turning that food into new muscle, a large portion of it gets oxidized or converted to energy. In other words, your efficiency drops. To use a simple analogy, it is like trying to light a campfire with damp wood. You can strike the match, but the flame does not catch as easily. Why does this happen? Several root causes contribute. Number one, hormonal shifts testosterone, growth hormone, and estrogen all support muscle maintenance. As these decline with age, the signal for muscle growth weakens. Number two, chronic inflammation. Research shows that older adults often have elevated levels of inflammatory cytokines like interleukin-6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. These molecules actually interfere with the pathways that build muscle and accelerate protein breakdown. Number three, Insulin resistance. Remember, insulin is not just a blood sugar hormone. It also plays a role in muscle growth by helping shuttle amino acids into cells. When your muscles become resistant to insulin, they also become resistant to protein. Number four, reduced physical activity. Many people naturally slow down as they age, but muscles are use it or lose it tissue. Without regular resistance, the signal to maintain and grow weakens. The combination of these factors creates a perfect storm. You lose muscle mass, which lowers your metabolic rate that makes it easier to gain fat. 
The extra fat, especially visceral fat around the organs, drives even more inflammation and insulin resistance. And this vicious cycle accelerates aging at every level. But here's the empowering truth. Anabolic resistance is not a permanent condition. It is more like a locked door. The right strategies can pick the lock and open it again. For example, research published in the Journal of the American Medical Association shows that older adults who consume higher quality protein, especially sources rich in leucine, can overcome anabolic resistance and restore muscle protein synthesis almost to youthful levels. Add resistance training to that and the effect multiplies. Another key factor is nutrient timing. Studies from the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences demonstrate that spreading protein intake evenly across meals, rather than loading it all at dinner, maximizes the muscle building response. That means instead of eating a light breakfast, a moderate lunch, and a heavy protein-rich dinner, you get better results by dividing protein more evenly across your day. Now some people wonder if supplements like branched-chain amino acids can bypass anabolic resistance. The research shows that while branched-chain amino acids, especially leucine, are important, they work best in the context of complete protein sources. In other words, your body does not just need the spark plug, it also needs the full fuel tank to build new muscle tissue. Here is the takeaway. Sarcopenia is not just getting older, it is the result of anabolic resistance, hormonal changes, inflammation, and lifestyle patterns. And while it can feel discouraging, it is actually a solvable problem when you approach it with science-based strategies. In the next section, we are going to reveal the overlooked food that rivals sardines and may actually outperform them when it comes to stimulating muscle growth and fighting sarcopenia. This food contains the exact amino acid profile your muscles crave, and I will explain how it works step by step. When people think of muscle building foods, they often think of steak, chicken, or fish like sardines. All of these are valuable, but there is one food often overlooked that science shows may be even more effective at combating sarcopenia, especially as we age. That food is eggs. Now, at first, that might surprise you. Eggs have been controversial for decades. You have probably heard warnings about cholesterol or that you should only eat the whites and throw away the yolk. But when it comes to muscle health and longevity, eggs are one of the most complete, efficient, and powerful foods you can eat. Let me explain why. Here is what is really going on inside your body when you eat an egg. Protein is made of amino acids and not all proteins are created equal. Eggs are considered the gold standard of protein quality because they contain the perfect balance of all nine essential amino acids in the exact ratios your body needs to build new tissue. In fact, the biological value of eggs, a measure of how efficiently protein is used by the body, is 94 out of 100. Very few foods come close. The star amino acid in this story is leucine. Leucine acts like the ignition key for muscle protein synthesis by activating a molecular pathway called M2R. Research from the University of Illinois has shown that a meal with sufficient leucine can literally flip the switch for muscle growth, even in older adults with anabolic resistance. One large egg contains about half a gram of leucine, and when you combine several eggs in a meal, you reach the threshold needed to trigger muscle building. But here is what most people miss. The power is not just in the whites. The yolk contains critical nutrients that support muscle metabolism, including vitamin D, choline, and phospholipids that enhance cellular repair. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that whole eggs stimulated muscle protein synthesis significantly more than egg whites alone, even when the total protein content was the same. The yolk provides cofactors that help the protein in the whites do its job more effectively. Let me use a simple analogy. Imagine you are trying to build a brick wall. The egg whites provide the bricks, the raw protein, but the yolk provides the mortar, the binding agents, vitamins, and lipids that allow the bricks to stick together. Without the yolk, you might have the materials, but the wall does not hold. Now, how do you use this knowledge practically? Number one, aim to include eggs regularly in your diet, especially at breakfast or post-workout, when your body is most primed to use amino acids for repair. Number two, do not fear the yolk. 
unless your doctor has given you a very specific restriction, eating whole eggs is safe for most people and provides far more muscle building benefits than whites alone. Number three, 